Throughout the years, there have been many body swap movies or movies in which a child suddenly has to learn to live in an adult body. Some of these have been well done, well acted, and are an overall lot of fun. Yet for many, it's 1988's Big that is the real standout that successfully intermingles both the innocence and desire to be an adult from the perspective of a child and the often brushed aside desire of adults to rekindle some elements of their past when they're too busy focusing on careers and forced societal responsibilities and expectations. Hey everyone, this is Jan Man, and this is a look back at Big. Big truly encapsulates that feeling that probably every 12 to 13 year old has had, just to finally be big so that childhood restraints can finally be lifted and all the opportunities afforded to adults can then be experienced. The entire first act does a great job of expressing this notion too, as the title character Josh Baskin is not able to get the girl he wants and realizes her smiles and kindness to him is just that, almost like a pat on the head pity gesture while seeing her with her actual older boyfriend. This is only propounded by how he is not allowed to get on the fair ride that they are in line for due to him not meeting the height requirements and he is forced to walk away. It's a humiliation just about any person who has been there before can truly feel. This tone, along with the movie's dialogue and photography, does an incredible job at building this world for Josh Baskin that feels real and lived in, transporting the audience, especially a male viewer, to the time of childhood, when there was that best friend, talk of girls and sports, along with lots of playfulness and discovery. It's also quite amazing that a female director captured this essence of a boy's childhood so well, a credit to director Penny Marshall. It's hard not to smile at the interactions between Josh and his best friend Billy, whether it's the catchy song they create to show off their own unique bond, or how they have walkie-talkies to communicate in their bedrooms at night, even when they're supposed to be sleeping. David Moscow, who plays the younger Josh, and Jared Rushton, who plays Billy, provide great, believable performances, and aren't always mentioned or given such credit for their roles. Rushton, in particular, conveys a gamut of emotions, skirting that line of adult and child. The scene in which he storms into the adult Josh's office and tells him to remember who he is and where he came from is a shining example of this and is as effective and substantial a performance as any in the movie. Of course, the most heralded performance tied to the movie is that of Tom Hanks' portrayal of the adult Josh Baskin and this is certainly one of Hank's great performances. It's pretty amazing how seamless the buy-in is from Moscow's portrayal of the 13-year-old Josh to the moment he wakes up after wishing to be big to the mysterious supernatural-like Zoltar machine and is now the fully grown Hank's version of the character. Hank's embodiment of the role and character is immediately convincing. Many of the moments that show his inexperience and naivete in the adult world are often heartwarming and comical. Scenes such as him trying out unfamiliar hors d'oeuvres or one of the most well-known scenes of the movie when he plays chopsticks on the walking piano at a high-rise toy store. But the movie just doesn't play upon what it's like for kids to want to be adults, but also how adults sometimes perhaps need to take a look at themselves and remember what was so great about childhood. In fact, it's almost satirical in this aspect given how Josh, within weeks of working in the computer department of the toy company, impresses his boss with his childlike playful behavior and just as quickly becomes the top representative. The adults he mingles with meanwhile become almost in awe of him as though he were uniquely bold to have such carefree and youthful traits. This includes his co-worker Susan who is incredibly consumed by her work and desire to climb to the top of the corporate ladder and her reputation therein. She's even quite prudish, even initially unlikable as a result. Yet her eventual attraction to Josh, again based on his more carefree, playful traits, is something she realizes is due to her own lack of them. It's not until the end of the movie, once Josh eventually finds the Zoltar machine and wishes to be 13 again, that Susan is a more fully redeemed character. It's at that point when she says goodbye to him and she watches him turn back into a child that she fully realizes with a sincere smile on her face 
how Josh is truly a cataclysmic wake-up call to live a more fun, authentic life over the stuffier one full of pretense. Big is quite an achievement in that not only does it have all around fine acting, editing, and photography, but balances heavy tones of comedy, drama, and complexities of childhood and adulthood almost pitch perfectly. The movie pushes boundaries as there is literally a 13 year old in a man's body experiencing a grown woman in every adult way possible. Not to mention how the Susan character smokes near incessantly scene after scene all of this in what is considered by most to be a family-friendly, PG-rated movie. But the movie, its writing and directing, finds beauty in the way the relationship develops and both become better from the experience. The movie is fantastical, but its realities are so strong that after viewing, the vicarious experience reminds why it's best to cherish the wonders, discoveries, and joys of childhood and apply them in our own adult lives so that we too can make them the best they can be.